Hey, what's up, everybody? We're now for another action figure review, and this time we're taking a look at the SH Figures of Black Widow Avengers Age of Ultron figure by Bandai Tamashii Nation. This is a web exclusive, and quite the pricey figure it is. It's gonna run you around seventy to eighty dollars, because just for the fact that it's a web exclusive, they run really high on price. So it is kind of nasty spending that much money on such a small figure with it doesn't look like there's a lot of accessories but we'll take a look at that when we open it up and see what it has in store for us uh, it does look pretty good it looks just like her so that's a good thing but the price is pretty hard to justify so so far but anyways here's the side of the box there is the back we got some poses there there's the other side let's get her out of the package see how she looks all right hey there we go there she is out of the package and Looks pretty decent. I mean, I got some gripes with it as soon as I took it out. But I'll let you know what that is in a second. Uh, so far, I do like the paint and the sculpt on the figure. It looks pretty nice. They did a good job on that. The face looks like her. They did the digital scan again or the digital printing on it that they've been doing with all their figures, figures and pretty much what they're going to be doing from now on. And, I, you know, I got my, my, my pros and cons about it. But it does look like her. So it's got the likeness. Um, but as you can see right now, you can see... She's more pale in the face than she is on her neck and her chest, you know, the skin tone. I uh, don't know if that was meant to be or not, but it's a lot more pale on her face. So that kind of throws it off a little bit. It doesn't match, you know, the skin tone doesn't match all the way. Uh, but it's not the, you know, the worst thing ever. Now let's quickly go on to the accessories. Get that knocked out first. And we have, of course, her pistols. So she comes with two. So there's one right there and then... She's got another one right here, so her dual wielding pistols. And then she's got these two batons. I, I'm sure they're batons. Uh, she did use these in Age of Ultron. They're like electric batons. And so there's that. And then the rest of the accessories are going to be hands. And we have these hands, which look like they hold the batons right there. Then we have these hands are kind of just, you know, relaxed and opened. And then we have these hands that are kind of, you know, more in a fighting stance or kind of like grabbing something right there. Or reaching out to something that's better. And then we have these that look like they can hold the pistol. And then the two fists are on the actual figure itself. Alright, so here's a closer look at Black Widow. And you can see the skin tone not matching there, but you can see how good it looks. I mean, I mean not the skin tone not matching, I mean how good the likeness looks you know to her it looks just like her i think and they did a good job so all the worries that people had about it not looking like her from the prototypes and her looking at you know it looked very bad in the prototypes um that can be put to rest now because it does look like her at least to me it does it's just the skin tone don't match uh, as for the rest of the sculpt and paint you can see how great they did there pretty good job so that looks good so let's go on to the articulation of the figure. So we got the head going left and right, up and down. So it gets a little ugly here. She seems to have a very long neck. I don't know if it's just me. But, and then if you pull it out too much, you can see that gap there. And that looks hideous. Uh, so you got to kind of push it down. But still, I think the neck is just too long, right? I don't know if it's just me. But it looks very, very long. Try to put the head down. I mean, if you kind of position it and angle it right it doesn't look too bad but you can't deny how long that looks uh, but anyways so it's got a good range of well there it goes it's on a ball joint actually so that came right off um so that articulates pretty good so if we look at the arms it goes forward and back in and out got the shoulder going in and out and a swivel there kind of moves around no bicep swivel though you do have a double jointed elbow and it does have a swivel with a hinge on the wrist. There is a diaphragm joint in the upper torso. So it does crunch forward and back and kind of swivels there. And it does have a waist swivel too and crunches forward as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, the legs go forward and back. Uh, now they do kind of get hindered there if you do that. You got to kind of tuck it under. So forward and back. In and out. So and it swivels right there. You just got to kind of move it around because it does drop down SH figure itself. But if you drop it down too much or at an angle, it doesn't bend back. You just got to move it around. Uh, so all that motion is there. So I don't know if I said it, but thigh swivel, upper thigh swivel. Got the um, double jointed knees there. Angles go forward and back. And it does have a little bit of an ankle pivot there, ankle rocker. So that looks very nice. And it, believe it or not, there is toe articulation right there. Very small, but it's there. 
Look how tiny that ball joint is to change the hands. Please be careful and don't break your figure. That is very, very small, insanely small. Very, I mean, it's to the point where it's scary. So <laughs> please be careful when changing out the hands. All right, so that concludes my review on the Black Widow SH Figuarts uh, action figure by, of course, Bandai Tamashi Nations. This is from the Age of Ultron Avengers movie. And I think it's a pretty good figure. It's just not well worth <laughs> $80 at all. I don't think it's worth that much money. It's a lot of money for this figure. And I don't know. I mean, it's it, it's a good figure. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice Black Widow figure. Not bad at all. The, artic the articulation is outstanding. You can get her in the, all the poses that she does. So that is a plus. Unless you're a huge Black Widow fan, I don't. I can't, just can't justify paying 80 bucks for it or more. Um, but the paint is great, the sculpt is great, everything looks great, the face looks just like her, just the skin tones don't match that good. And also, I did fix the neck joint problem, it was just, it wasn't in all the way, so I just, very scary, but I pushed it in more into that ball joint and it snapped. I heard a snap, and now it's stuck in place, it's not as loose as it was when I showed the articulation, so I guess it was like that out of the package. So, it snapped in the ball joint and everything is good now and it doesn't look as long, so that issue isn't a problem. I think it's worth it for any adult collector that really wants the Avengers team in SH Figuarts form. It's a great looking Black Widow figure, it's not bad at all. Can't really say anything that I hate about it other than the skin tone's not matching. Um, she does stand on her own, which is great with her little feet, which are kind of like on high heels, but not really, but they did a great job on those feet so she could hold her own. Um, but what else can I say? It's great paint, great sculpt, everything's great. Just the price is just way too high. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys like, and you guys have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.